Lexi from thecreativeorange.com and I thought I'd do a quick little video on how to create a watermark. Um, I know there's a lot of products out there that can do it, but some of them don't exactly get what you want specifically or a little confusing. So I thought I'd just do a really quick tutorial on how to create a watermark in Photoshop. So let's get started. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop and the way we're going to do this is we're going to create an action. Um, if you've never created an action before, I highly suggest it's something you learn how to do because you can make actions for anything. Resizing, adding some sort of effect, they're so amazing. So the very first thing we need to do before we create an action is open up an image that we're going to create the watermark on. That's kind of like our, um, you know, sample of what it's going to look like. So I have a folder here. I'm going to just drag this image in. Okay, so we have the image open in Photoshop. So the first thing, now we're going to actually create the action. So this is the action tab right here. If you don't see it in your tools, you can go up to window and there's actions right there. So we're going to click this little paper with the fold to create a new one. It's going to access what we want to name it. I'll just call it H2O because I'm witty like that and hit record. So now Photoshop is recording everything that you do into this action. So with our watermarks, I just like to create a basic uh, band with the opacity down and our logo on it. Very simple. Not too big, not too small, not over the person's face. We don't want that. So I'm going to select the re rectangle tool here um, and make sure you select the color you want it. This is our color right here. It's very faint pink. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to just draw a rectangle like so. Do that. Hit enter to set it. You can see right here H2O mark everything that we've done so far. Now I'm going to take the opacity down on it so it's not so bright you can see through it. I'm going to set it at 30%. Also hit enter so it sets it. And then what I'm going to do is put our logo on it. Now you can't just open up your logo and drag it on there. It won't work. You have to place it in the photo. So you go up to file, place, and then you just search for your logo. Um, and another thing to remember is you're going to want a PNG so you can see through things so it's not just a big white blob block on your rectangle. So we're going to hit place and there is our logo. So I'm just going to drag it right where I want it. Hit enter to put it in there. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Like so. Perfect. Okay. So now we have that. So this is what our watermark is going to look like. And as you can see, once again, it's recording everything in the actions tool over here. Um, most of the time when you create an, a watermark on an image, it's going to be going on the web. So I need to resize it. It's better to do this all at once and having to go do the watermark and then opening up the image to resize it. So I'm going to go to image, image size. I'll make this around 700 pixels high. Hit OK. There we go. It's resized. And now I want to save as. So I'm saving as and I'm going to put it in the watermark folder that I've created as a JPEG. Don't want it as a PSD. Hit save. Hit OK. And now I'm going to close this and I don't want to save it and then you hit stop. So now you have recorded your action. So now the next step is to run your action with all of the images. So as you can see here I've created a folder that has all the images, just a few images in here. Okay and then I also have my watermark folder where I'm going to put them all in there. So I go back to Photoshop, you go up to File, Automate, Batch, and you go up to Action here. You find your action that you made. We call it H2O Mark, so I'll make sure that's selected. And then you need to select your source folder, so where it's pulling the images from. 
So we're going to select it, the H2O mark folder, and then the destination folder of where you want those images to go to. So we're going to select the watermark folder. Hit choose, hit OK, and watch it work its magic. Okay, so Photoshop has done its thing, and now we have all these images with our lovely watermark on them. And they are ready to go on Facebook for these seniors to share and share, so then all their friends come to our studio as well. So it's really, really easy, just a quick way to get your watermark on there, so it's not, it's exactly what you wanted. So check out more videos, creativeorange.com. Thanks.